Hey, what's up? It's your favorite realtor, Jamal Dirksen, coming to you from beautiful Colonia Beach, Virginia. If you're thinking about buying a home, selling a home, or just curious about what's happening with mortgage rates, then you've come to the right place. Today, we're diving into the big question. What's next for mortgage rates? Let's get into it. So you want to know what's next for mortgage rates? Well, let me tell you, it's a wild ride. No one can predict the future with 100% accuracy. But there's one key player we got to keep an eye on, the federal funds rate. Yes, when the Federal Reserve decides to shake things up with the federal funds rate, mortgage rates generally like to follow. So let's break it down. First up, inflation. Now, I know you felt it. Prices going up everywhere. Groceries, gas, you name it. The feds got their eye on this like a hawk. They want to see the rate of inflation come down, and thankfully, it's trending in the right direction. But we're not quite there yet. Think about it like this. Remember when coffee was just a dollar for a cup? Now it's like $3. Inflation is when the cost of something goes up over time. The Fed's job is to make sure those prices don't go up too fast. They've got a target rate they're aiming for. And right now, we're still a bit above that. But the good news is, it's getting better. Next, job growth. The feds, they're looking for a slowdown in job growth. It might sound a little strange, but slower job growth means the economy is cooling off at a healthy rate. Recently, few jobs have been created, and that's actually a good sign. Let's put it in real world terms. Say you run a small bakery here in Colonia Beach. If everyone and their cousin is hiring, it's going to be hard to find good workers. But if job growth slows down a bit, it gets easier. Plus, it keeps wages from rising too quickly, which helps control inflation. It's all connected. And then there's the unemployment rate. It's still pretty low, but it's inching up. The Fed is likely looking for a slight rise in unemployment before they consider lowering the federal funds rate. Unemployment is a tricky one. Too high, and people struggle to make ends meet. Too low, and you get what we call wage inflation. That's when wage rises too fast, pushing up prices. The Fed wants a little rise in unemployment to cool things down without hurting folks too much. So what does all this mean for mortgage rates? It's tricky. The Fed doesn't directly control mortgage rates, but they move sure to influence them. For all of us hoping for lower mortgage rates, the economy seems to be moving in the direction the Fed wants to see. Let's break it down further. When the Fed raises the federal funds rate, it becomes more expensive for banks to borrow money. They pass their calls on to you in the form of higher mortgage rates. So if the Fed sees inflation cooling, job growth slowing, and a slight rise in unemployment, they might lower the federal funds rate, which could lead to lower mortgage rates. That's why we're watching these indicators so closely. All right, so let's recap. The Fed is watching three main things, inflation, job growth, and unemployment. Right now, inflation is high, but coming down. Job growth is slowing, and unemployment is low, but rising. These trends are what the feds want to see before they lower the federal funds rate, which could eventually lead to a lower mortgage rate. Historically, mortgage rates have been all over the place. In the 80s, they were sky high, and we've seen some record lows in recent years. It all depends on the economic conditions and the Fed's response. Right now, we're in a period of adjustment. The economy is recalibrating, and so are the rates. Buying a home is one of the biggest financial decisions you'll ever make. And selling, that's a big deal too. Mortgage rates play a huge role in both. So staying informed is key. And remember, I'm here to help you make sense of all of it. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.